Hello viewers, welcome back. So today I will speak about my absolute favorite magnetic motor from Supia Sivas Hanumugam. This is the pattern from 2014. On the left side of me you can see this beautiful image or render of this magnetic motor which you will see just shortly animation of and this one is particularly interesting to me because it uses magnetic shielding materials within the stator and the rope through. So this is the key in magnetic motors. I think this is the overall key to actually make this efficient and that this works. But who knows? Not too many of the patents I have explored have really used ma magnetic shielding materials in custom shape, like the, the bore, the holes directly into the thick material, which is completely out of this uh, shielding structure. So therefore it can uh, really uh, nullify the, or at least uh, significantly decrease magnetic field of the opposite magnetic pole. So in front of my face now you can see the animation. This is really, I made it see through that you can see inside because if I left the rotor the stator of magnetic shield material you wouldn't be able to see how the magnets are arranged. But that is it. So I will um, later on show you on the big screen and describe how this works and uh, yeah you will see it's pretty pretty simple in nature what else can i show you i can show you now very briefly the pattern itself this is where i reconstructed those 3d models which of course you can purchase from me for very small price between maybe five and ten dollars depending if you are interested in just contact me on my email address and that's it yeah so now we're going to move to the big screen to see in action and try to point some uh, important uh, things directly on the screen uh, and see how this should work so where do i begin okay so this is the front view the side view the back view or whatever view i can show you in the animation form but this is basically it so this is the arrangement of the magnets which are uh, posed with light poles so that they repel each other on the stator and the rotor and the most important part here which is not seen in other magnetic motors is that this whole stator this transparent part you now see on the image this one the, the rotor and the stator transparent part is completely out of magnetic shielding material so I don't know what is, what is the hardness of magnetic shielding material. Supposedly it can be a moon metal or something similar. This is a composition of several types of materials which give, uh, which block magnetic field so in the best possible way. So the magnets itself are arranged in the, some kind of angle so that tangential force is the, uh, used to repel the magnets on the, on the rotor so that um, yeah so that would speed up some would think that this would speed up indefinitely yeah but this is not the case in any motor because of course we have the the it would speed up to some point up to the, the let's say the wind or the um, resistance of the bearings and would stop it in some measure uh, in some in some way yeah. so this, cannot speed up indefinitely any motor because of the force it creates on the bearings and on the, on the moving parts yeah, so and the heating it's created and everything else but basically this is it so I really admire the Supia because of its simplicity well, I do not have the measures nor they are stated in the patent which you can uh, check on the link in the description below and read it in thoroughly and it's really really simple but, but the construction itself as you can see I think it cannot be more simple than this. Yeah? So of course it has to be arranged that it repels the, ro the, the, the rotor magnets and the stator magnets. But generally, uh, if we would know the, the type of magnets used, and uh, this shielding material could be the moon metal, and if we are able to get, so this is the, the hardest part of magnetic motors, or to construct any of these magnetic shielding, especially such a custom structure which you would drill the balls, which you would drill the holes in it, like, like this one here, it's really hard to get. 
we would have to get the raw material and then the, on CNC machines and some special milling machines extract those, uh, uh, this, uh, this amount of material that we can fit in the magnets and then the screw the magnets uh, that, that, that do not move. So this is it. I think the hardest part here is uh, on, in any actually trial of the magnets motor is to get those shielding materials bit because they are available. You can search new metal on eBay or any other. You can search the Google which are best shielding materials. You can so, but they, you cannot get them in such a you know, square shape which can you then modify with the tools to, to fill in the magnets. So this is the, the biggest problem. So the shielding it's itself the hardest part in this motor and everything else is pretty pretty simple. You would then connect some kind of generator here or some kind of fan and you extract the energy from air like it's shown in the Mohamed Yildiz magnet motor. So you can put on this rotor whatever which can give you energy. It doesn't have to be directly the, the generator which has the big uh, power. It can be a, a fan and you will blow the air and you will then extract the air on the generator somehow. Yeah, so this is the, um, uh, however you design it. But generally this is it, this is Supia. So what is very simple here? Very simple is the Christopher Gitzen magnetic motor. You can check it on my channel. You have also the in link, in link in the description below. You have uh, explanation how this one works. This is pretty similar. Yeah? So, pretty similar and I think it, the Christopher Gitson can be even easily replicated because it doesn't have the compact uh, so it, it isn't that the whole uh, motor is embedded the magnets are embedded inside of the shielding material they have some kind of you can check the video so you will see basically this is it read the patent uh, leave your comments below what do you think about Supiak motor it's very new patent from 2014 and uh, yeah it might even work so it's new patent who knows well what can be said at the end for Supias Sivas Hanumugam permanent magnet motor or magnetic motor for short yeah it's really really interesting design so I wouldn't say that because just I want to sell you the product or sell you the model or sell you whatever you think I'm selling to you here because I'm just reading the patents and trying to reconstruct them, show it how it works, how it's designed it. So I don't sell you, um, I don't know, something in the air. Generally, I really like uh, such um, a concept because it, it brings simplicity again. Yeah? For example, what was the, uh, the this one? I cannot remember now. You can check. Just a few days ago, I made a patent which also has this uh, magnetic shielding in some measure with some special ferro liquid on the bottom. This one is pretty interesting, but you can check it. But uh, the Supia motor is the one I would recommend to everybody to try it out if you have time, energy, and you if you can get magnetic shielding material in such amount that you can actually drill the holes inside of the magnetic shielding and put the magnets inside and fix them and then say for sure this really doesn't work. So why do not I do that? Because I don't have the funding or I don't have the time. I have a steady job, I have other responsibilities, so I, I'm unable to, uh, to spend uh, my resources on, on, on these uh, concepts and prototypes because I, I don't even have so much will to do that. But exploring the ideas, that's what I have. So that's why I'm showing to you all of these videos and I'm going to continue to do that as long as you are my subscribers, as long as you give the likes for the videos and as long as you share the videos and spread the community that we become only and the best source for free energy. And not to be some fake uh, like these free energy videos which are overwhelming the YouTube uh, just to gain the money. So I actually try to, to study the patents which might even not work. None of them. I'm not for sure. I cannot tell you for sure. But at least these inventors have tried and give their best and uh, tried to uh, make it in the patent office. Supposedly it should work. 
So thank you very much for watching and until next video, which I promise you will come very, very soon, stay tuned on my channel. Bye-bye.